Hello, Ram the Monk and Ron of Zane here with another gem of wisdom from Archangel Michael. Hello, y'all. Happy to be with you again. Okay, here's the gem of wisdom. As you progress on the path of enlightenment, your relationships will change, often dramatically. Think about the first time you fell in love. How enamored you were. How everything glowed. The person glowed. They seemed to be perfect. You could not get enough of them. You could not be around them enough. And it was, it was heavenly. And you could hardly think of anyone, anything else. And you wanted to please that person. And you wanted to be with them. And then gradually over time, as from familiarity, I says, as lust turns to, <laughs> to begins to wane, and, and, and I said, that, and I have often said there better be an awful lot of like and love in there to keep going, because the veil of your consciousness, that person was probably, you send out the energy, you send out those frequencies, and, and you connect with someone that is of like frequency. And so if you're a needy, you're, you are drawing to you a needy person. If you're a dominant, you're drawing to, to you uh, one, one that is not dominant and so on. Uh, so anyway, at that point, you want to please each other. But then gradually, that doesn't work because each other's needs aren't being met. You're giving too much of yourself away. And so gradually you begin to see the imperfections instead of the perfections. And it's always the other person's fault. I will even share with you uh, a, a very intimate uh, thing that happened with me with my two husbands. They both were very dominant men, men and, and, and leaders. And um, uh, because I, had, I don't have a temper, I don't like confrontation, so I would always adjust and become more or less their shadow. And then as I began to take my power and try and take back my persona and who I am, both of them said toward the end, why aren't you the way you used to be? What happened to you? You see, you, you stop. You stop being what that other person wants you to be. And so now, as we progress, and we're claiming more and more and more of our power, our personal persona, our strength, our intelligence, and we're living more of our truth, the relationships are going to change. And you begin to, unless you are centered, unless you are soul-focused and heart-centered, there's going to be problems. Because most people, I need this. And so, if that person is pre providing what you need, they're going to look for somebody else. And it'll be over and over and over again. But you know what happens all of a sudden when you become heart-centered and you begin to, you get the idea that I have to change me first. It's up to me to set boundaries, state my truth, live my truth to the best of my ability, and allow the other person to do the same. So sometime you move beyond the person you're with or your relationships or your family, and sometime they move beyond you. But isn't that for the best? Like they say, you're to be married forever. How boring or how defeating, how, how imprisoning. But if we could come together, we come together and we learn and grow together. And everybody's not going to follow the same path, but we allow, bless, Michael said, you are to find your truth. You're to run everything through your heart monitor. Do not believe what I say or anyone else says until you validate it for yourself. Because there are many truths and there's many different paths to the top of the mountain and to awareness. And as long as they're in harmony, they're not, they're not harmful, they are not... Uh, uh, overpowering if they feel right to you then you might want to accept them or you accept them as your truth because they ring true to you but you must allow other people to do the same there's so much judgment out there 
and there's so much polarization. I have the truth, and you are to believe what I say, because there is no other truth. I'm not going to say anything about that. It's just, you know, we are so beyond that. We're not robots. We're intelligent people. And we have such magnificent attributes and qualities that we're waiting to, to bring forth and to activate and to use. We are co-creator gods in, in a sense because we are a spark of divinity. The creator and our father, brother, God, are experiencing the material, being materiality through us. That was the whole idea. And so in effect, we, that is our lineage. We are royal lineage. We came from the heart core of the Father, Mother, God. And so do not blame anyone. Rise above the situation. Try to, if you're in a certain situation, see the best in it. Come to terms with it yourself. Move into non-judgment and be as a, understand, be, but you must state your truth. You must set your boundaries and say, I can no longer do that. But try and do it from a heart-centered, heart-focused point of view. And there's good, when we talk about, we talked about holograms before, so I'm not gonna go there. But just know, you are moving out of the certain holograms as you move through the levels. And there are gonna be people that are going to leave and it's going to may hurt your feelings or so on. But also you are going to, are you going to hold yourself back? Are you going to keep yourself from succeeding in every, in every endeavor because of someone, what they believe in your obligation to them? Okay. But I'll tell you, it's not going to be easy. And your angels are going to keep wrapping you with that, with the, Hey, wake up. You're off the path a little bit here. So, Understand, first of all, I'll just remember this. Become heart-centered, soul-focused, try to come to neutral, rise above situations, see the best in the other people, listen to them, and try to understand their point of view. You don't always have to state yours. Michael says there's a time to speak and there's also a time to be silent. And so you want to claim your freedom and your ability to be as you can, very best you can, so does everyone else. Please give each other an opportunity and know that it's for your greatest good and their highest good because there's something weighty, better waiting for each and every one of us. Come along with us. It's a great journey. Thank you, Rana. Yeah, some of the uh, our relationships will change as we change our vibration. Um, n not everyone will be leaving, of course, um, however, when it's not, when it doesn't resonate with our vibration, whether it's a marriage or a friendship or a, a relative or whatever the case may be, it just seems to organically happen where we go different directions uh, in most cases. And um, what we're also seeing now at this time is a lot of soul family coming together. So. There are people that are resonant, uh, that resonate with our vibrations that are coming into our lives that previously were not in our lives. And so those people who are not of the same frequency or vibration as we are, are leaving and other people who are of that vibration we find are coming into our lives. So that's all for this, this message. Uh, much love and many blessings from our hearts to yours. Just keep going and you'll find your soul group and they will make your heart sing and your soul song. Your soul sing and your heart smile. Okay? We love you. Bye-bye.